We are building the Hungry Traveling Snake project from the YBY Python curriculum available at www.yby.in. Recall in this project we have this head, snake head, a turtle which moves around eating, you know, looking for food and eating it. And the way we determine if a food has been eaten or not is by finding out the distance between this turtle and the food turtle and figuring out if it is less than a certain threshold. In fact, right now, the game that I'm playing, the threshold has been set to 20. And that seems to work quite well. You know, uh, most of the times when I come near the food, it kind of seamlessly eats it. This number 20 is over here. In this video, we're going to get a little bit deeper into this as to where did this 20 come from? Why is this a reasonable number? And what exactly is going on? Now, understanding this is important because one, this gives us a very, very good understanding of how the game actually works. Number two, we get a good idea of how to set this number in case our sprites or turtles are not of, si of the size that we are using, but are of a certain different size. So let's get started. Recall the t dot distance command is giving us the distance between two turtles, specifically the distance between their centers. And we saw several examples of this. Now, what this means is that when I have a statement of the sort, let's say t dot distance, you know, between two turtles is less than a threshold. Basically, what I'm doing is that I'm kind of implicitly making a circle around the sprite, around the center of the sprite or the turtle. And I'm saying that the center of the other turtle must be inside the circle. Now, this is quite interesting. For example, let's say the threshold is 20. I am making a circle of diameter 40 centered on my, let's say, snake head. And I'm saying that if my sprites center, uh, if my food center comes anywhere in the circle, then I'm going to say, okay, look, the threshold has been breached. And I will say that I have been, I have eaten you. The moment I make the threshold to 10, this circle shrinks dramatically. In fact, now I'm saying that, look, your center must be within this circle. In fact, the impact of this is quite dramatic. We'll see this later. If I, let's say, reduce the threshold even further, let's say I make it 5, the circle becomes much, much smaller. In fact, this is of diameter 10 because, as I said, the distance of the center to center must be less than 5, which means the center must fall within this circle, which is of diameter 10. Now, let's see somewhat visually the impact of this. Let's say I put threshold of 20. Now, remember, both my sprites were of side 20, which means that if they are, they are adjacent to each other, I am seeing a distance of 20, just about 20, which means just about a little bit of overlap. And I would say, yes, I've eaten the sprite. Similarly, if the sprite is, let's say, somewhat diagonal, a little bit of sprite will suffice to say, okay, the threshold has been breached and hence the food has been eaten. Let's see what happens if I make the threshold to 10. Now, clearly situations change. I need a significant degree of overlap. In fact, here I need 50% overlap. Here I need lesser than 50, but still quite a significant amount of overlap because again, remember the center of the circle, center of this sprite must go and fall inside that circle. Clearly a lot more, you know, overlap is needed. Let's say I were to set this to five. Now my twin size of sprite is 20. If I put the threshold as five, you will realize that in fact, we need a lot more overlap, almost a complete overlap. And you'll, you know, you'll also notice that if I were to try playing this game, in fact, it turns out to be extremely hard. Let's see this in action. Let's say I go in here and I say, okay, look, let me make my threshold to, let's say, less than five. Now, this is a very tough one because like I said, now we are basically looking for almost complete overlap between the snake food and the snake head. And you'll notice that many times I will... It's just almost impossible to make this work because the game has become so, so, so difficult. Notice I almost seems like I, I kind of went on top of it, but still this time I got it. Of course, I kind of went on top of this again, did not kind of get that right. It looks sometimes very strange. It looks like we're completely overlapping, but you know, our eyes are not a great judge because look, this, this little square itself that you're looking at is 20 pixels wide. Clearly you can see this game has become a lot, lot, lot harder. So as we saw that the moment that we made the threshold to five, the game becomes much harder because the touching condition is triggered only when the two triggers, when, only when the two turtles are placed almost precisely on top of each other. Of course, it's not complete overlap. There's still, you know, as we saw here, there's still some room for, you know, error, but that error is very, very small. And hence, 
it's almost impossible to catch the turtles. But now the interesting bit here is that, in fact, we can mitigate the situation. We can make the situation a bit better by lowering the step size. And let's just try that. Let's say I say, OK, let the threshold be five. But instead of moving, let's say 10, 20 steps at a time, let me move perhaps, let's say, 10 steps at a time. Now, if I were to do this, this is quite interesting. This I will, with the same threshold, have a higher success rate of catching these, you know, Okay, so didn't catch this, didn't catch this either. But let me try this. Okay, this didn't work either. This worked. Now, sort of more kind of suitable for it. Let's hope to catch these. Still quite hard, but now somewhat easier. Notice three of them have become, now fourth one has become, and I think this fifth one should also did not. But I can try again. And I got my fifth one finally. What happens? Let's say I did turtle dot forward only five steps. Now, in this case, I notice my turtle moves a lot slower, but I have so much more control on it that I can, you know, eventually catch every piece of turtle here. So I can make sharp turns and I can catch this. Now, why is it that the same threshold of 20 this time around has become easier? Compared to when we had a step size of 20, it was almost impossible. Now, what is the relation between the step size and this threshold? And this is actually very interesting. Remember, my turtle is moving in steps of 5, 10 or 20 previously, which means that turtle is in fact not touching every point. Turtle is going kind of like in a virtual grid. But my turtles, my, my food turtles are in fact almost at any point, they're random integer between minus 200 and 200, which means they could literally be at any point. Now, when I reduce my step size, which is the, the number of, uh, I mean, the, the forward steps that I'm making, basically my virtual grid on which I'm traveling has become that much finer, and hence it becomes that much easier for me to go and eat the turtle. And notice I managed to eat all of this this time around. Of course, the turtle is moving quite slow. I can illustrate the situation that, like I said, there is a kind of virtual grid on which the turtle is moving. Turtle is not going to every point. Turtle is, in fact, making steps, for example, 20, 20, 20. So it's only going to the points where these intersections are going on, whereas my food could be anywhere. Now, when the overlap required is less, I was okay because, you know, when I moved around, yes, somehow I would overlap with this guy and it'll say, okay, I've eaten this. But the moment I made the threshold small, my overlap requirement is that much more precise and hence it was not working. However, when I lowered the size, for example, from 20, I've, you know, effectively, I've made this grid twice as dense, which means that I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to move on like many more points here. And hence, the chances of aligning increases much more. So when I make it five, I make the step also five, the, you know, grid is compressed. The chances of overlapping with the food to that extent that, that is required is just increases. Now, for this game, we'll go... For now, of course, we can just go back to 20 in our game because the pixel, uh, because the size of the turtle head and the food is 20 pixels. So 20 seems reasonable to say 20 steps over here. Now we'll see that the step size also is important when it comes to making the tail move along with the head of the snake. Now notice we are back to 20 and the game plays quite regularly, quite normally. I catch my food quite easily. But I hope you found this analysis interesting. This is quite important because if our, our sprites are not the same size as the, this project, we will need to adjust these thresholds and these steps. Also, I think some interesting ideas might be you know, in place where we can make these threshold and the step sizes change as the game progresses. I think some interesting ideas could be built there and definitely would want to encourage you and be happy to discuss that with you. I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, such analysis is often not done, but it's actually important. In general, if you find that learning programming this way by building activities, by applying concepts is something that you enjoy, do look at our website www.ypy.in because we have many, many, many such activities. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.